GlobeCore continuously searches for new approaches to addressing a variety of tasks. We have paid special attention to the issue associated with treatment of wastewater containing heavy metals. The reason for these studies has been the fact that wastewater from chemical, machine building, food manufacturing, petrochemical, and other industries is the most common and hazardous for water bodies. The range of wastewater in the mentioned industries varying by its volume, composition, contaminant concentration requires the use of versatile, reliable, and efficient treatment methods. Despite significant achievements, the existing ion exchange, chemical-based, and electrocoagulation methods for removing chromium and heavy metals do not allow us to sufficiently address the issues associated with ensuring the efficient and money-saving treatment, as well as the sustainable use of water resources. In order to rectify these disadvantages, we have used AVS Vortex layer devices. In the operating chamber of AVS device, several factors are combined to influence wastewater treatment, including geometric parameters and vortex layer operation modes, its hydrodynamic factors that ensure intense mixing of processed media, electrochemical factors, electromagnetic processing, and substances activation in the vortex layer, phase dispersion. Among the whole variety of heavy metals accounting for over 40 chemical elements the atomic mass of which is higher than 50 atomic units, we will focus on removal of hexavalent chromium, copper, nickel, zinc, iron, cadmium, in our case, the tested and treated wastewater was different by composition and contaminant concentration. This table shows the characteristics and composition of industrial water before treatment. Now, we are going to focus on the treatment process flow diagram at an existing enterprise and show what it would be like with ABS applied. In the presented process flow diagram, simultaneous treatment of chromium containing an acid alkali wastewater is carried out in alkaline medium. Both wastewater streams simultaneously enter the balancing tanks after that, they are processed in AVS within a fraction of seconds. Mass exchanging columns are installed near these devices to improve the conditions for simultaneous reduction of hexavalent chromium to trivalent chromium, as well as for formation of heavy metal hydroxides. A lime milk solution from one tank and a reducing agent process solution from the other tank are supplied to AVS devices concurrently with treated wastewater. After treatment by means of AVS, the wastewater enters the sump for clarification. In order to expedite the wastewater clarification process in the sump and to reduce its volume, the diagram provides for the use of coagulant and flocculant supplied to the sump ferrous sulfate or aluminum sulfate solution shall mean a coagulant, and polyacrylamide PAA, shall mean a flocculant. Lime is used as an alkaline reagent. After the sump, the treated water enters the clarified water collection tank, and over there, if necessary, it is subjected to tertiary treatment, discharge into the sewer system, or reverse water supply for technical purposes in workshops. After the sump, the sludge enters the sludge collection tank. Next, it is dehydrated at vacuum filters, and then it is taken out to certain locations or for processing. The use of the devices according to this diagram makes it possible to reduce the production area by replacing the bulky metal structures of mixers the cleaning of which takes several hours while the consumption of chemicals and electricity is 1.52 times greater compared to the cases where AVS devices are used. Most importantly, the use of vortex layer devices ensures the quality of treatment below the maximum permissible standards. This table shows the results of treatment of chromium containing wastewater using AVS devices. Specifications of electromagnetic vortex layer devices. Characteristics of AVS 100 device. The maximum capacity during wastewater treatment is 12 cubic meters per hour. When obtaining the suspension, it equals 5 cubic meters per hour. Maximum operating pressure in the chamber, 2.5 megapascal. Rotation speed of magnetic field, 3000 revolutions per minute. Power consumption, 4.5 kilowatt per hour. For AVS 150 device, the maximum capacity during wastewater treatment is 20 cubic meters per hour. When obtaining the suspension, it equals 15 cubic meters per hour. Maximum operating pressure, 2.5 megapascal. Rotation speed of magnetic field, 3000 revolutions per minute. Power consumption, 4.5 kilowatt per hour.